have not peed yourself while you're pregnant. You're lying. You're lying to yourself and you're lying to me. Hi guys, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about 10 unexpected things about pregnancy, things that nobody tells you, things that I did not see coming. If you're new here, my name is Barbie and I post videos every Wednesday. I would love for you to join me and subscribe down below and make sure you also hit the bell button so that you're notified every time I post a new video. So this video is actually in collaboration with the lovely Brody. Her channel is Brody Brillock and I will link it down below and also her video. She's also going to be telling you 10 things which she did not expect to happen when she fell pregnant. She has a great channel talking about beauty and pregnancy and she's absolutely gorgeous so make sure you go and check her video out down below. Obviously each pregnancy is really different and everyone has their own experiences so it'll be really interesting to see what she puts in her list. So before I get started I just want to throw in a little disclaimer. I am so grateful to be pregnant. I'm so excited to meet my baby and I love him so much. I don't think I should have to say this but this video might come across really negative and a little bit moany because I'm not gonna lie pregnancy is hard. It's one of the hardest things I've been through and I want to share my honest experiences. So yeah I'm just gonna get that out the way and say just because I'm having a little moan does not mean that I don't love my baby and I'm not so so grateful to be pregnant. So I'm gonna stop babbling now and just get into to it. The first thing that I did not expect when I fell pregnant is that there would be no symptoms. So when I was trying for a baby, I was reading so many TTC forums and blog posts and a lot of it was talking about symptom spotting. If I had not done a pregnancy test, I would never have known that I was pregnant for at least a good month. I did not have any sore boobs, I didn't have any um, sickness or nausea, I didn't have spotting or discharge, I just had no symptoms to show that I was pregnant. So if you are trying at the moment or if you want to know more about my trying to conceive journey I will link that up here but yeah if you don't have any symptoms straight away don't worry just do the test and then you'll know if you're actually pregnant or not. The second thing which came as a bit of a surprise to me was that I did not look pregnant for a really long time now, I don't know if it was just because I was already a little bit chubby around my waistline, but I would say it wasn't until about week 23 to 26 that I actually started showing and having a bump. And even then, um, you wouldn't really know. You'd just think that I had a big plate of pasta the day before. So I think especially if it's your first pregnancy, don't expect to be having your baby bump straight away or having people notice that you're pregnant. You might just look a little bit chubby for a good few months before people actually realise that you're pregnant. The third thing that surprised me when I fell pregnant is that you don't actually get that much support from doctors and midwives throughout your pregnancy. You only really have two scans, one at 12 weeks, one at 20 weeks, and then a few midwife appointments thrown in here and there and even at your appointments they kind of check your blood check your urine and send you on your way going into it I thought that there would be a lot more contact with your midwives um, I've seen a different one for every appointment and yeah everything that I kind of know about pregnancy I've found from YouTube or reading things online but yeah that's just something I thought being a first-time mum and I know that if you have a second pregnancy or third pregnancy you have even less contact with the midwives and even less appointments because they know that you can do it and you've been through it so yeah that's just one thing that I wasn't expecting. Number four is something which hit me hard it hit me like a train it knocked me down and it is hormones. In my first trimester I wasn't me Barbie who that don't know she ain't around I was a hot mess and now coming into my third trimester that ogre has resurfaced she has returned I am just up here all the time I'm ready to go over the edge I have no tolerance I don't want anyone near me I don't want to be touched I read in a book that it's basically your estrogen and your progesterone rising at the same time and they both do completely different things to your body and it's basically like if you drank a vodka red bull you've got the vodka sedating you and the red bull making you go crazy and it just messes with you but yeah hormones are real they're a real thing they mess you up and pregnant women should just have uh, I am dealing with hormones badge printed for them so that everyone knows what they're going through. Number five is going to be a little bit TMI so if you don't like gross things skip ahead but I did not realise how connected your uterus and your bowels are and how connected hormones and your bowels are. So I had really really bad diarrhea in my first trimester and again it has resurfaced. I know that other people suffer really badly with constipation that can be again because of hormones or actually because the pressure of the baby is pushing everything together and making it more compact so that it can't come out. 
And also gas is a thing when you've got a big ass baby in your belly, there is no room for gas. It gotta come out. It's either coming up or it's coming down. So yeah, just expect to be uncomfortable for a while. <laughs> Number six is something which I experienced. I think that a lot of people go through it and it is gender disappointment. I've always wanted a little girl. I don't have any sisters. I just have like close friends and I've always just dreamt of having a daughter. When the sonographer told me it was a boy, I was like, yes, of course it is. I have so many boys in our family, but I did have that disappointment of not having a girl and I think the main reason for the disappointment is because I know that for my next child I'll really really be praying for a girl. When the sonographer said it's a boy I was genuinely really happy but it was only when I got home and I had a while to process it that I was quite disappointed that we weren't having a girl. But obviously I know that every child is a blessing and now I've got my head around it. I'm so excited to have a little boy. Number seven, I want to know did anyone else experience this? But as soon as I fell pregnant, my partner just assumed that I knew everything about pregnancy. Did this happen with you? Just because I'm a woman, just because I've fallen pregnant does not mean that I know everything about babies and pregnancy and giving birth and breast milk. I genuinely don't have a clue. So when he's coming up to me asking me all these questions, I'm like, mate, Google it, because I don't know. <laughs> Number eight is something, again, which might be a little bit TMI, but in my second trimester, my swelled up like it got big it got puffy and it got very very painful i think it's because there's a lot of blood circulating in your body and a lot of it is going to the downstairs region getting ready for birth um but yeah it did swell up quite badly i had a little feel down there i didn't have a look but it's very puffy and very sore so just if that happens to you don't freak out it's a thing okay so number nine might come across a little bit harsh but I genuinely think that when you are pregnant, the only people that can relate to you are other people that are pregnant. Let me know what you think. I have just found that people who have been through pregnancy and had babies, they are like, do you know what? It's a walk in the park. I did it, it's fine. You got this, wait till you have kids. That's when the real starts. And then on the other hand, you've got people who haven't experienced pregnancy yet and as sympathetic as they can be, you're still like, you don't know what I'm going through. <laughs> Obviously that may come across a bit harsh. I have so many friends who have been so supportive, who have kids, who don't have kids. But I do feel that while I've been pregnant, I've just really been gravitating towards other pregnant people <laughs> just so we can share our misery, share our highs, share our lows. But yeah, that's something I didn't expect. I didn't think I would be so reliant on other pregnant women to get me through this process. That's why apps like Peanut are great. Instagram's great. Um, also just the fact that I'm on YouTube and I've met other pregnant women like Brody and we can share our experiences. So yeah, if you're pregnant and you're feeling a little bit alone, make sure you're reaching out to people and finding a support group. Number 10 on my list of things that I did not expect while I was pregnant is just the general lack of control. You can't control your weight, you can't control your emotions, you can't control your bodily fluids, you can't control your hair growth. If you have not peed yourself while you're pregnant, you're lying, you're lying to yourself and you're lying to me. And I'm guessing that carries on after the baby's born because you are just devoted to your child. So yeah, those are my 10 things that I did not expect to happen before I felt pregnant. Things that no one tells you, but I have told you now, so you know. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.